check this out. Listen to this weapon. It's from the book called uh, The Ten Day Sun. Uh, it's meant, it's, this is writings from the uh, Hindu teachings. It was as if the elements had been unleashed. The sun spun around, scorched by the incandescent heat of the weapon. The world reeled in fear. Elephants were set on fire by the heat and ran to and fro in a frenzy to seek protection from the terrible, terrible violence. The water boiled. The animals died. The enemies was mowed down and the raging of the blaze made the trees collapse in rows as in a forest fire. Elephants made a fearful trembling tr trample, trampling I think it is and sank dead to the ground. Thousands of chariots were destroyed. Then a deep silence descended on the sea. The winds, the earth grew bright. The earth grew bright. It was a terrible sight to see. Never before have we seen such a ghastly weapon. Now, you know, just, uh, just, uh, you know, the mind, you know, wanting to try to figure out what this is. It reminds me of um, Star Wars, right? And the Death Star. Or um, I might be getting it confused with the, um, it wasn't the Death Star, was it? Oh, no, it was. It was the Death Star that they used to, you know, blow up other planets. But there was something else in one of the newer ones where they had a weapon that was based on, uh, uh, they were using it to use the sun to drain it um, so they could charge up their machine and they could blast you know, planets and stuff like that far away. I, I was thinking about that. Was it, is this what it's describing? Um, they describe it as being a comet. So, you know, the comets that circle the earth that cause this stuff. If you uh, read this book, uh, I'm listening, like I said, to the uh, Maharaja there. And, and, and it's, you know, it's a war going on between the gods and man. Um but I also thought about, like, uh, back in the day when I uh, didn't know what I was looking at. And I still don't. I'm still trying to figure it out. But um, a lot of those depictions of the drawings of things out there on the walls in New Mexico, right? In Arizona. In the, uh, the, uh, the land of the Aztecs. It reminded me of that, where they, people tried to describe this was a war that was in the sky, you know? A nuclear war and things like that. There was a part in uh, in this, as I'm listening to it, because I, I got the book going on and I'm just listening, I had to stop and pull this up. There was a part where they said, though, these weapons were only used between the gods and, and, and the, the gods' seed that was on earth, not meaning us, but like they, they, that they had created their own kind here on earth. They said that they was only used through royal decrees. So if the gods of heaven would use these, um, they had to decree it first, and then the, the, the descendants of the gods on earth could retaliate. But I'm going to see if I can find that, So, because I thought that was interesting too. But I had to stop right here, because it also reminded me of Lex Will, the servant, right? When he talks to, talked about in the past, you know, uh, leaving the East Coast, right? And now, uh, you know, the creator wants to burn up this side, and um, forgive me if I'm misquoting. I'm not. I'm just trying to, you know, go back from memory. But um, he's like, you know, as long as we're in the way, he can't do that. You know, he, I mean, he can, but he he won't do it. And you know, until finally he's had enough. But you know, he's always said, you know, he'll burn up this place. And I just thought that was interesting, too. You know, that aspect. So I'm gonna leave this in the description box if you want to read more. Um, I'm gonna keep continuing uh, on here.